On this video, I'm going to talk about the murder of Tapiwa Makore. Tapiwa Makore was a young seven-year-old boy with a bright future ahead of him and was always happy and very active, just like any other seven-year-old boy. So this boy uh, was living in Zimbabwe in the villages with the mother and the father. So on this particular day, as normal as they used to do after coming back from school, the child, Tapua would go home, get something to eat, go to the gardens and play with the other kids. So as, so as they normally do. So now Tapua went to the gardens and do the gardening, started playing with the kids. So apparently on this day, a well-known uh, well man around that village known as Tafaz Gwashamba went the, where the kids were playing and called Tapua and told Tapua to accompany him to his house where he can give him food and something to eat. Because they know each other along the, around the villages, Tapua never thought that something harmful may happen to him. So Tapua went with Tafazwa to this uncle's, Tapua's uncle's place, also known as Tapua. So upon reaching there, Tapua was given food. Then Tafazwa locked the boy in the room, went out to drink beer so that he can get courage on whatever he has planned to do. So Tapiwa's mother was wondering where is the boy? Uh, it's getting darker. And the mother decided to go to the gardens to look for him and he couldn't, started looking for him, but he couldn't find him. And it was getting dark. Informed other villagers that he could, she couldn't find her son and other villagers started helping, looking for the boy, wondering where did he go. And on the other side, Tafaz will later come back home, took a knife, killed this boy, actually totally cut him into pieces. And after cutting him into pieces, uh, he left everything in the. He took the head of this boy and took it to the city center that is in Arare. So upon, um, so it is being said that three days before Tapio was murdered, uh, Tapio Makore Senior, Tapio's uncle, came in with the um, Sangoma and they did some rituals at that place, but they really don't know what actually they did, what they actually did, but they did some rituals with that Sangoma and then they left. So when um, Tafaz went to Arara, he left the head there and come back home. Police uh, document was, the police were in, uh, informed and the document was opened and they started to do the search for Tapiwa. So apparently the children who were playing with Tapiwa informed the police that uh, Tafaz was the one who came and took Tapiwa and went with him to his house because he wanted to give him food. So the police later went to Tafazwa and interrogated him until he confessed that actually he did really murder the boy. He actually murdered him at his uncle's place. That's when people come to head about what really happened. And he went with the police and showed them where he had buried some body parts. And he said he has took the head to Arare at a certain location. So the other police officers in Arara were informed and went to that place to look for the head, but they couldn't find it. And they also went to, and Tafaz also informed the police that Tapio's uncle is the one who had informed him that he should kill the boy in exchange for money. So when the, so when the police went to the uncle's place, also at Tapiwa's uncle's house in Arare, they went to search for the head, but they still couldn't find it. And they, inf they arrested the uncle. Later during the investigations, uh, it was also revealed that one of the villagers who was also helping with the search party for this boy apparently knew that this boy uh, was at uh, Tapio Makore Senior's house before the murder, and he was actually helping with the search. And people were wondering why was he helping with the search if he knew the boy is there. Then they could have just gone that to that place and 
rescued the boy before he was murdered. So this lady was also arrested. And after the arrest, so Tapioma Kore Sr., the uncle, and this lady and Tafaz were all three were arrested. And they still continued with the investigations. And they took the body parts for forensic um, so that they can find out if they really belonged to Tapiwa. So after they, after they did the DNA, forensic DNA, they found out that really the body belongs to Tapiwa. But the mysterious thing was like, where is the head? The uncle was denying that he never sent Tafazwa to kill this boy. And Tafaz was saying, he's the one who sent me and I dropped the head in Arari, this location. So still the head could not be found. So the family, it continues for several months, still people trying to figure out where is the head, but still the head was never found. And later there was a head which was found, of which the family said this head was too big for it to be Tapiwa's uh, head and apparently in that area a lot of kids were being killed so they suspect maybe it was someone else's head who was killed in that area so the head was also taken for forensic dna but the family wanted a private forensic but the government said no they were the ones who were going to do the forensic so the government did the forensic and it was found that this had match with Tapiwa's DNA, but the family said no, that is not. They they were not going to accept that head. On the so later, when the family realized that there was a, no dead end, they couldn't find the head. They decided uh, we'll just bury him. So Tapiwa was just buried without the head. And later, the uncle and the lady who were also involved in the murder of Tapio Makore, they were also re both released on bail. And people were wondering, does this have to do with any government officials? Why would the murderer be on, on bail and only one person was left in prison, Tafazgo, because he cannot afford a lawyer or what? So that is what happened. So Tapio was buried without a head, and they are still looking for the head. If it can be found, they will be happy to bury the head. Apparently, they were scared to bury this boy's head. Uh, the, the head that they was found, they were scared to bury it together with the Tapio's body parts because they thought, what if we bury the head with the wrong body parts? So they didn't want to. So they were scared what something happened. Then later, they would have to repatriate that head back. So they were not happy to bury. So they just decided to just bury without a head. So they were still, they are still looking for the head. And those, so only Tafaz one now is the one who is in prison and the other two, they are out. And it remains a mystery of if this head could ever be found. So that is the information that we have for now. I'll keep you up to date if I get more information.